Hey, this is Rusty Cooley. You're checking out Six String Bliss. <laughs> This is a prototype of the uh, Rusty Cooley 7-string uh, signature model. It's going to be put out by Dean. Guitars uh, should be released early uh, 2007. They're planning on debuting at the, uh, the NAMM show in January in Anaheim. The things that really make this guitar special to me are little details um, that, that really can go unnoticed, like the cutaway. If you take a close look at the cutaway, uh, as I spit on my guitar, um, you'll notice that it goes beyond the 24th fret. So I can get up here, access all the frets, come flying up the neck, and my hand doesn't hit on the body. So I've got all access um, depth-wise. And then the cutaway is really wide um, this way, so I can do really big stretches. To compensate that further, the back of it is cut away as well. So when I'm doing these wide stretches, the back side of the horn's not digging into the, to the back of my hand like on all of my other guitars that I've ever owned. Um, Such as? Has done, yeah. <laughs> like something like, uh, well, I'm not going to mention names. Uh -huh. I think everyone knows. Now, the neck joint is really critical as well. The neck joint on this one is cut back further, shorter. It's uh, beveled in downward so that you can really get up and get better access to the neck. And the new version of this, like I said, this is the prototype, is even more sculpted back here and cut and beveled and polished and even more. Really big frets. I think they're Dunlop 6000 frets. Um, so it's kind of like <clears throat> when you play this guitar, it's, your fingers touch the strings and your strings against the, the metal. You never drag your fingers across the fretboard. So it's all just, you know, finesse. You have to develop a light touch. I've had blues guys pick up my guitar and everything goes you know, all crazy out of tune it's because they're used to playing so heavily that with these big frets you, you grip too hard and well everything's out of tune so you have to play very lightly you know when you're playing quickly it's about moving you know across the neck and not bearing down and the neck is ultra thin um, the final version of this one which I don't have yet uh, is even thinner than this neck it's fretboard is ebony one of my favorite things I love ebony fretboards with the giant frets thin neck okay the cutaway, the neck joint, EMG 707s. If you're going to play seven string guitar, 707 is the only way to go. Uh, if I played six string guitar, I might not use EMGs, but for seven string, I've tried everything, and this is this is it, man. 707s rock. The angle of the pickup is only because of the depth of the cutaway. You can't if it goes straight, it comes through the cutaway. Uh, using the Takeuchi low profile seven string trim, so that the uh, fine tuners are out of the way. I can't play on Floyd style trims because the tuners stick up. Yeah. And that's where my hand goes when I'm picking. I've never used tone knobs, so why put it bother? You know, it's just another knob to be fumbling around with uh, when you're trying to play live and worrying about the music and not whether the tone's up or down. So eliminate that little issue there. Three-way switch, neck bridge, middle <laughs> volume, crank it up. Um, headstock's pretty slick. The jack's on the side. I like that because it, because it keeps the... Uh, because it keeps the cord out of my way. I can't tell you how many times I just step down and boom, 
rips it out. So eliminate that problem too. The final version will also have black binding, not white, so it'll really blend in with the fretboard and whatever other colors we end up painting it. It'll be pretty sweet. I had mentioned on my website that this was going to be this uh, Lamborghini of seven strings and somebody commented that, well, it's a very boring looking guitar. And uh, for me, what I meant by that statement was it's the performance, not necessarily the looks or cosmetics. I mean, I've spent all the years playing guitar, trying to get the guitar to play as easy as possible for me. So the last thing that I ever really thought about was, you know, how pretty it was going to look or what the nice sweet little inlays were going to be. The RC inlay isn't going to be on the production models because if you're like me, who wants somebody else's initials on their damn guitar, right? So that'll only be on my guitars. I think that's about it. Any questions on it? I don't think so. All right. Cool. Thanks. Oh man, you bet. <laughs>